what if you could just ask your ai assistant how's my portfolio performing today and get instant personalized insights about your actual holdings well that's exactly what kites mcp feature is here for in our last video we explained how this feature works and what you could do with it things like asking ai to show me my top 5 positions by market value or even something complex like group my open fno positions by underlying and calculate the net delta of my option strategies convenient right now we got tons of comments on that video asking for a step by step tutorial on how to set this up for cloud and vs code so here we go i'm going to show you exactly how live on my windows laptop step 1 We need to install node.js.org. This is necessary for both VS Code and Cloud setups. So head over to node.js.org and grab the LTS version and I'll help you run through the installation. Perfect. Now let me verify it's installed by opening command prompt and typing node version. And it should show you the version number here. Great. So node.js is ready. Now for Claude, you need to make sure you have the desktop app installed, not just the web version. Once it's done installing, open up Claude, click on the settings button on the left hand side corner, then click developer in the left sidebar and edit config. This opens up the folder with the JSON file. Right click on that file and click on edit. And this is where you'll need to add the configuration shown on the screen. You'll also find the configuration in the description. Make sure your brackets and commas are correct. JSON is picky about syntax. After this is done, click on file and then save before closing the file. Now you'll need to quit and restart Claude. Now when you open Claude again, you should see this tools icon. Click on it and it should automatically ask for permission to run Node.js. Click on allow and when you click on the tools icon again you'll see kite show up as an option here now when i put a prompt as you can see here it's asking me to authorize my kite account i'll click through this authorization flow and we are connected cloud can now pull data from my kite account Now one thing you need to remember is that depending on whether you have the paid or free version of Claude there will be usage limits that will restrict how you use the AI assistant since MCP tends to have longer conversations this is how quickly you'd hit that limit as you can see in just about 2 to 3 messages we've hit that limit but on the paid version it would look something like this But if you're looking to get a quick look at what MCP can do for you without fully committing to Cloud Pro, then you're probably better off taking the VS Code route because you can make up to 50 queries for free. You see, VS Code alone is not an AI assistant. It's a tool to run AI assistants inside of it. It's a powerful free code editor designed for developers to write, debug and manage code efficiently, supporting rich extensions AI assisted coding and integrations with tools like Git and Docker. So now that you know a little bit about VS Code, let's start setting it up on my laptop. First, we need to make sure we have VS Code and Node.js installed. For this, you can head over to the VS Code website and click on the version you want to install. I am installing the Windows version here. For Node.js, follow the same installation steps as before. Next, we need to install GitHub Copilot. For this, open up VS Code and click on this extension button and search for GitHub Copilot on the search bar here and click on install. Now that you have everything installed, it's time to start configuring this for Kite. After installing GitHub, click on this settings icon here and then click on settings.json here. You'll see a few lines of code already. Similar to the Claude setup, 
you'll have to replace that with these lines of code shown on the screen. We've also added them in the description for your convenience. Now, you'll need to close and restart VS Code. Once you do that, head back to the GitHub Copilot extension and you'll have a chat box open up in the right hand side. As you see here, type in forward slash MCP here and there you go. It shows Kite as an available MCP server. When I use it for the first time, it'll prompt me to authorize my Zerodha account just like we did with Claude. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Is it safe to connect my trading account to AI? First, this is a read only access. The AI can see your portfolio data, but cannot place orders or make any changes to your account. The only exception is GTT orders, which you'd still need to explicitly confirm. Second, your Zerodha credentials never pass through Claude or any AI assistant. The authentication happens directly with Zerodha's secure servers using our standard two-factor authentication. And third, you have complete control over what data the AI can access. You authorize it once and you can revoke that access anytime from your Kite dashboard. Zerodha has been handling API connections securely for years. This uses the same infrastructure as existing Kite Connect APIs, which thousands of developers already use safely. Now, the setup might seem technical, but it's really just copying and pasting a few lines of code. And remember, this is completely free. No additional charges beyond your regular Zerodha account. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments what insights your AI assistant gave you about your portfolio. And if you run into any issues during the setup, drop your questions below and we'll be happy to help you. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Brokerage will not exceed SEBI prescribed limits.